for joining me again today for another Talking Futures interview. Today we are here to discuss the future of youth social entrepreneurship with Caroline Jenner, CEO of Junior Achievement Young Enterprise Europe. So Caroline, thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks very much. To kick off the interview, do you think that the future will have more social entrepreneurs? And what do you think needs to happen to encourage businesses to seek to develop value within the economic system rather than extract value for shareholders from it? Uh, well, we'll certainly see many more um, social entrepreneurs. There's no question of that. Um, uh, we think that young people care deeply about um, social issues and social problems that they see around them. Um, they're as idealistic as they've ever been. Um, so I, I don't think that's going away. Um, what's changing, I think, is their ability to see those problems and issues as opportunities to develop uh, a project or develop a business or develop some kind of collaboration, uh, whatever it might be, um, but to see it as an opportunity rather than um, a charitable uh, cause, if I can put it that way. Um, we see that 86% of the students that uh, participate, for example, in programs like the Social Innovation Relay, where they're made, they're exposed, they're, they're more aware, made more aware of these problems and how they can be um, turned into opportunities. 86% of them afterwards say um, that they're much more aware of, of how they can play a role in um, these kinds of areas. Um, I would say in the sense of the space of social entrepreneurship, it's getting more cool. Um, you see venture capitalists are moving in. Um, you see that young people are um, talking about it more. Um, we have 43,000 of them that joined this social innovation relay project. And that's, that's just because they think it's a really interesting thing to be a part of. It's a, um, that is a real uh, good message. And I think the other piece on the business side, you know, the established companies out there, um, they cannot ignore the social impact um, uh, piece of the pie. They're all talking about the triple bottom line. They're all trying to understand the social impact of what they do. They all realize that there's much more out there than just their core business. In fact, this is their core business. And how do you think um, public-private initiatives in the future can support the employability and entrepreneurship potential of our young people? Uh, what we are seeing now uh, uh, is a real evolution. It has taken some time to, to come together, so I won't say it's a revolution. I'd say it's an evolution. Um, and organizations like us uh, are kind of like a barometer of how that is taking place because we operate between the space of the private sector and the public sector. between uh, business people and educators, for example. And what is going to happen, I think, is engagement of the private sector much more in the employability of the next generation. So cooperation between them and the school system from a very young age, uh, it will be a progression from, from primary school to middle school to secondary to university. It will be the full, um, the full climb uh, of a child's uh, educational career, and there will be engagement uh, throughout by all kinds of different stakeholders. Um, so I think there's just going to be an intensification of this. I also think that at the end of the uh, at the end of the line, at the end of the pipeline, instead of a straight line towards some particular education choice or some particular career choice, you will see um, the young people see entrepreneurship as an option. Maybe it's social entrepreneurship. Uh, maybe it's any kind of entrepreneurship. It, uh, I really don't know how much differentiation we really need to make. Uh, but that will be a career option for many, many more of them than, than today. They will see more options. 
And how have you seen within your organisation that entrepreneurship education can work? Um, well, the way it works, I think the, the best um, uh, impact that it has is that it gives young people a real experience so they could really tell you what entrepreneurship is after they've had, you know, the whole point is that it's experiential. Um, so they learn how to do something. That's very important when you're young because it gives you confidence. The second thing that it does is it exposes you to the world of work or the working world and what all these people out there are doing when they say they go to work or when they say they are um, busy all day. Uh, young people really see the kinds of tasks, responsibilities, challenging issues that uh, people are facing. And the third thing it does is that it gives um, a, a, an opportunity to validate what the students have done and what the students have learned because we have things like competitions, we have presentations, we have them exposed to people who are experienced and they can tell them, hey, this was a great idea or fantastic approach that you had here or your team is doing a very, very good job. It's not something that parents can validate. It's not something that teachers can validate because kids know that those aren't those aren't the people with the right expertise. So uh, I think entrepreneurship education provides a lot of of things that you cannot get any other way. And how do you think that an increase in virtual learning will affect youth entrepreneurship education? Uh, it will affect it in exactly the same way that it is. Um, affecting education everywhere. Uh, it's transformational. We all know that. Uh, everything from the notion of a flipped classroom where you might be doing uh, much more discussion and collaboration when you're um, at school or when you are learning, but you're doing a lot of preparation and homework and doing a lot of the um, um, the, let's say, analysis and exploration, you're doing that at home. So technology makes um, the whole collaboration more necessary. Um, the other thing is it will provide access to good quality um, education or entrepreneurship education to a lot more kids. Um, you'll be able to do this to rural communities. You'll be able to reach out to areas where normally the students would not have access to this. Um, also, it provides um, the chance for them to work with role models that they would never have a chance to work with. I would underline in the case of the social innovation relay, where we have um, students from countries all over the world, uh, I believe it's 19 countries today, that those 43,000 students are um, meeting professionals from very many different um, work environments and they would never be exposed to those kinds of people or those kinds of jobs and learning about them without tech, the help of technology. How could we communicate between the Philippines and Brazil um, and share ideas uh, unless we had technology? So I definitely think it will, it will increase the speed with which we can reach the numbers uh, it'll help us scale up, but it will also very much change the way uh, we work. Uh -huh.